Hi everyone, and welcome to Good News Daily. My name is Jeff Shively, and I'm your host. This is a show where we bring you three pieces of good news every day to remind me, because I need it sometimes, sometimes more than others, and to remind you, if you choose, that there is good to see in the world. It's easy to forget nowadays. We're not trying to say the bad news is not important. It is. We're not trying to uh, ignore the bad news or the challenges we have, but we have to focus on the good. We have a positive mindset, we do that, we set our intention and our beliefs that way, things, amazing things happen. All right, we had a show earlier today where I just kind of changed it up, different episode style. We tried, uh, oh, what's up? What's up, Jeff? We got people joining us up on the roof. <laughs> what up? Say what up to the camera, everyone. Hello. How's it going? All right, so we got a beautiful sunset and I was just having the most amazing conversation with an awesome group of friends about life and about people and I was so inspired and so grateful and I did the three pieces of gratitude from our show earlier today my whole day shifted I did the three pieces of gratitude once I did that I was grateful for life I was like you know what I'm gonna go I'm gonna go see some friends <clears throat> and actually those friends were like hey we want to come hang out and so that we hung out and we had this most amazing inspiring conversation and it was connected it was collaborative there was kindness there was openness there was disagreeableness there was agreeableness it was fantastic and so I decided to come and take that energy from doing those gratitude things from the previous episode, which would be 62, and do another episode tonight to capture the sunset. So, um, our quote today to start, and then we're gonna do a, another experiment kind of style, because this show is a true experiment. Uh, we're gonna do three pieces of good news highlighting from previous episodes that are so far back and maybe hidden, or even recently, the ones that just came to top of mind when prepping this show, seeing the sunset, feeling like doing it. All right, our quote today, is from Mr. Rogers. If only you could sense how important you are to the lives of those you meet, how important you can be to people you may never even dream of, there is something of yourself that you leave at every meeting with another person. Fred Rogers. And so true. You are important to others, very much so. And I'm sure there's people that are important to you. There's people that feel that way about you. Just remember that. All right. So our first throwback story is an awesome one. It's from one of the earliest episodes. This is because this show started on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day 2019. As an experiment to do 90 shows in 90, 90 days. Now we're doing 99 in 99 days because I skipped a couple so I added some on. So this was a story about a woman in Arizona who accidentally texted this, this, this at the time I think it was a teenager, this kid. And he said, oh, it's the wrong person. And they ended up coming together for Thanksgiving. Anyway, he didn't have a place to be, and she brought him over for Thanksgiving. They had this most amazing Thanksgiving dinner together, and it was just kindness, and they've been continuing it. This thank last Thanksgiving was their fourth year when they actually got together for Thanksgiving again. It's continued. How beautiful is that? How wonderful is that? All right, I'll put all the links in YouTube down below uh, so you can go back and check out these episodes. Hopefully I can find them, the summaries on them. All right. So uh, our next story is about a man in Florida during Christmas who decided to, I got so excited I didn't put my gloves on when I came out here, who decided to, um, he decided to go pay the electrical bills of anyone who was, uh, who was not yet paid their bill and their, their electricity was gonna be disconnected over Christmas. So he went down to the, the utility company and said, who's gonna be disconnected? And he paid their bills. He paid about two grand if I remember correctly. What's most, I mean, that's awesome, right? Like he actually had done that. He had actually had his power disconnected and was lived in cold when he was younger. So he's really like, he knows what, what's up with this. So um, basically after this story was published all over the world, other people started doing this in their communities around the world. And one of the things we say a lot in this show is kindness is contagious. So is courage, so is kindness. So is fear, so is negativity, but we can choose those other ones, right? So that's a, this, this man doing this one act ended up duplicating to over 200 other communities around the world. I'm sure more since then. This was still before Christmas, I believe, we reported on it. And other people in these 200 communities started doing this in their local area, 35 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever, going and paying people's bills who were not gonna be able to have power during Christmas, electricity. Like, what is that? That's so cool. And it just continued. I'm sure next year it'll continue, continue. Kindness is contagious. Awesome. All right, our last, this is the last set of stories. This is about Australia. We did an episode about Australia 
and it's one of the most popular episodes. I don't, I don't know why. For me, I love it because it talks about all of the, the beauty and the beautiful humanity around this tragedy. It talks about the flip side, the silver lining. It talks about all the people coming together and then celebrating that coming together for me make, made me wanna, hey, how can I uh, figure out how to help more? Also, people actually, eat, they saw our report about knitting bird's nests for Australian animals and uh, some of the Knots of Love people, the Knots of Love Amazing Charity, they had a group that actually made these bird's nests and it was just freaking awesome. Um, Yo, roof people! Are you still up there? Yo! Hey. <laughs> Hold on, I want to do something I haven't done before. Is anyone else up there? Yeah. Alright, tell them to come over here real quick. Please. This is the roof! <laughs> That's the microphone falling. Yeah! This is the top. <laughs> Joe Kim! Tribe. Yeah. First official audience of the good news. Yeah. Thanks, dudes. Yeah. All right. That's another first for the show. That is our show for the night. Check out. Check out the YouTube section down below. Thank you all for watching. Remember, courage is contagious. So is kindness. Pass it on. Thanks.